Today we're going to be creating a zombie in Procreate. Welcome back everyone. Let's get started. Click on the little plus up here and let's create our canvas. I'm going to use the Instagram size which is 1080 by 1080p. Okay, and here we are. Now I've provided two sketches for you guys. Um, so you'll be able to do this as we did our past videos. You'll be able to scale the tutorial to your skill level. So first what you want to do is if you are a complete beginner, don't have any drawing skills or uh, maybe just don't want to draw today, you just want to trace, that's fine too. What you're going to do is you're going to click on the little wrench icon up here. We're going to insert a photo and we're going to load up the zombie sketch with no grid lines on it. And the sketch should be exactly the same dimensions as the canvas so you don't have to do anything but click on the little arrow there and you've got it loaded in. Now what you can do is you can create a new layer and we can hit the little N on the zombie and we can take it down where we can still see it but it's not bothering our sketch. So what we can do now is let me put it on a uh, and let me do a sketching brush here. Recent. Oh well. I'll just do this one right for now. So what you can do is you can just trace right over it. And then we'll link it later on like that. So if you want to do it like that, you can do it. Uh, if you have a little bit of skill of drawing, another way which you could do, we'll clear this layer out. We'll get rid of that zombie sketch. And what we'll do is we'll click the wrench again and go to canvas. Click on reference and image. Import an image. There we go. Uh, and click on the one with the grid on it. And now, this will set right over here on the side. Click on the wrench. Turn on drawing guide. Edit your drawing guide. And I always take the thickness and the opacity all the way up. It's just your preference. The grid size is 272 pixels done done so now you have exactly uh, as your reference photo here so it makes it a little bit easier to draw I mean you can kind of see uh, the head is coming up from about right here to uh, going down about right here okay and then the ear starts about right here and you can just using those grid lines kind of help you see where everything should be going so that's another way that you can do this to, to skill up the tutorial a little bit and if you were a master at drawing what you can do is not use a reference photo at all and just draw a zombie for out of your head or what you can do is you can use the non-grid photo for your reference photo over here and you kind of look at it and draw it over here uh, just by looking at it over here without any grid lines. So, again, you can scale the tutorial to your skill level, which uh, I think is very helpful for a lot of people. Okay, so let's continue on with uh, drawing this zombie, and I'm just going to keep what I got right here. Looks good so far. And so we're going to come, I'm just going to go ahead and do the head as I would if there was no break in it there. Okay, we got an ear right there.
Here we go. Get his collar here. Mm -hmm. On over there. Um, what I've got here is his shirt coming down right here. And then this other strap right here is I was envisioning a necktie maybe hanging down. And do like that. And then maybe his lapel on his jacket here. We need a line. I'm going down like that. All right, so let's do the shoulder. Maybe about right there. And this shoulder over there. All right, so let's get these brains in here. I'm going to break it up, break his skull up a little bit right there, and then I'm going to have some little wormy-looking things here. You can just get creative with this. I'm going to do like that. All right, let's do an eyeball. So this one on this side is just going to be a circle. And then the other one is going to be something like that. Have an eyeball here, and this side is just a little tiny circle. Okay, his nose is going to be just like a skeleton's nose. So we're just going to have little two, two little nose holes here. Just like that. All right. Uh, let's get these wrinkle lines, I guess you call them. Kind of put them where we want them. So remember, this is just our sketch. So we're going to be inking over this. So you don't have to be perfect right now. Okay, that's good. Maybe right here. Okay, let's get his mouth in. So that's his lip that I got right here. So let me make sure I get that lip in there. Maybe like that. And then I'm going to have some gums. And this wavy line here so you can put the teeth in between all right and then down below the same thing okay I didn't I my mouth is I need to do something with this so good thing about digital art is you can always click on it and select it using the freehand tool which is the little s symbol here and we hit the arrow here we can kind of want to free form it maybe stretch it up a little bit and then I can fix those teeth later on I didn't leave a gap enough so I can put his tongue in there so I'll add that in later Okay, put his chin in right there, and maybe some lines over here. And again, we're still going to be looking at our reference photo. So that's that's about it. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. And then we're going to drag it under our sketch there. And then what we're going to do is hit in on the sketch layer. And I like to go ahead and change the the uh, level to multiply because it darkens it up a little bit and then we can take the opacity down so well, we can still see our sketch but we'll have a reference to ink okay so now we're going to start our inking process and we've created a new layer to do that and the pen that I have given you by the way, all of the things that you need to do this tutorial will be in the description below. 
You can go to the link over there and you can download it for free. Um, you have an option of tossing me a couple of dollars to help out with the videos and stuff like that. So I keep bringing these to you for free in the future. Uh, and I'd highly, highly appreciate it. Okay, so what we're going to do now is the, uh, the in the zombie brush pack that I've given you, we're going to go to the channel anchor stream and the streamliner uh, helps you to draw uh, without being shaky. So, for example, you can see the nice, beautiful curves. So that's what that does. And also, it is a pressure tip, so you can start off thin, and the harder you push, you get thicker, and then you let off and you get thin again. So we like to do those thick-to-thin lines because it, it gives it a very stylized and cartoonish look for it. Okay, so let's get this inking started. So what we're going to do is we're going to start up here. And I always kind of keep my light source going to be coming in from the top left there. You can, you can do it any way you want. But uh, the reason you want to identify that is because what I like to do with the thick to thin lines is the lines that are closer to the light are going to be thinner. And the, the lines that are away from the light is going to be thicker. So that kind of gives you, without having any shading at all, kind of gives you a feel that the light is coming in uh, by the thickness of the lines. Okay, so let's get this head started. So from here, I'm going right there. And it's good to end up your lines with a very thin line like that. And then this part is going to come in. About right there. Okay, so you can see thin to thick to thin. That's what we like to see. And the ear over here. All right, make sure you connect everything because if you don't, when we go into coloring, it's going to mess us up. Okay, so let's get the cheek connected. Oops. I think I need to put my drawing glove on. My hand is sticking to the iPad. There we go. All right. And let's get these brains in here. I'm going to continue this line. Just a little jagged edge right there. Okay, so let's do thick to thin. And then we'll come out here. And then maybe like that. And that's like a worm. Okay, this one. Like that. Maybe make him come out like that. Okay. Maybe there's another one living right here. Um. It doesn't matter. You can just make it look however you like it. Okay. All right. Now let's come down over here. Remember, this is going to be away from our lights, so they're going to be a little bit thicker. So then, so we want it. We want it uniform. So make sure it's uniform. But as we go over here, I'm going to start getting a little bit thicker. Okay. 
Okay, let's get this line in. So thin, thick, thin. You can practice a lot doing this by doing your lines and it'll get really natural for you where you don't even have to think about it anymore. Okay, I want to try to get that a little bit symmetrical. But, you know, it's a monster, doesn't it? And then it doesn't have to be perfect, right? It's a monster. It's a zombie. Zombies are not handsome. They're not supposed to be anyway. Just lip. That lip coming around right there. Right there. Okay, let's get this eyeball in. You want a perfect circle, you can hold down on it, touch it with your other finger, and you can kind of drag it to wherever you like. You can get a perfect circle there. There's a little eyeball in here. Okay, this eye. Make sure you're connected. Okay, let's get his nose holes. And you can go ahead and just fill those in if you like. All right. Okay, let's get this mouth done. Yeah, I don't like how that turned out. And two fingers tap it, maybe it'll go away. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get my glove on, guys. There we go. And you don't have to do this in one shot. You can do it in in passes. It doesn't really matter. So now I can fix these teeth. So I stretch it out so I don't want the teeth that long, but anyway. We can kind of get in here more and look at the over and under that we want for the T's. Okay, now we can see where the teeth go on the upper the upper parts here. Okay. I, I still think I did these two a little, little bit too long, so I'll go back again and shorten those teeth up a bit. All right, and then let's do the gums down here. Again, doing that wavy thing here. So we can get the teeth in. Okay, now we can get that tongue in there. So let's do... Like that. There we go. Now we got all the proportions in there. So let's get a shoulder in here. It's going to be near the light, so we're going to make it kind of thin. Down here is going to be kind of under the arm, so it's going to be thin to thick. And the right there don't really matter. And over here, it's going to be away from the light, so it's going to be thicker. Oh. Kind of fix it where it will be the same thickness. Okay, and also down here. Okay, then let's get his lapel. I guess that's what it's called, a lapel. 
Okay, and let's do his bottom of his chin here. And then thin, too thick, too thin. Yeah, done not so good. Try that again. Better? Okay, so we got, this will be the lapel that when we need to color it in. Okay, this is his shirt, kind of open. That will be skin right there. And then this is his tie. Neck tie that's hanging down. When I originally did this sketch, I had a full body, but I thought it would be better just to do the face. A little bit more interesting. Now these wrinkles here, we want to do thick to thin. Or I'm sorry, thin to thick to thin. Okay, like that. And this can be thin to and stay thick all the way to there. Kind of like an eyebrow. And this one over here, same thing. Thin to thick right there. Okay, this is just a little flap, so thin to thick. Looks like I can do that a little bit better. A little bit thicker. Okay, one right here. And one right here. That's not good. There we go. Nice. One right here, thick to thin. Just gonna leave it just like that. And then a couple more here under the eye. Okay, let's get his ear kind of flaps there. Okay, I think we've got all the elements in there. Maybe a couple. Of... Okay, how about on the lip here? Let's do some little textures on here. Okay. All right, guys, I think that's it. There is our, and we can go ahead and turn off our original sketch in there. And there is going to be our line art. See some something is up right here. I don't know what that little black dot is right there, but I don't want it there. Take that out with the eraser tool. Another thing, what, what, I say I got a gap there, so I want to make sure I close that up. Another thing what you can do is if you've seen that you didn't do a, uh, a thin line at the end, you can fix it just by going into the eraser tool and just kind of and sharpen it off there. Then you can make those thin lines or the, the thin part really thin. But if you have to do that for all of them, of course, it's going to take a long time. So it's better to learn just how to do it the first time. Okay, there we are. We got our zombie sketch done. So let's get started on the coloring now. I'm going to go ahead and turn off my reference photo here. And I provided you guys a palette. So we're going to go ahead and use that palette. I'm going to go ahead and just delete that original sketch out of there. So now we just have our line art. We're going to start a new layer and drag it under the line art. We're going to set our line art, tap on it, and set it to reference. And then whatever we color down there, it's going to reference the top for the lines. Okay, so palette-wise... Where's Mr. Zombie? There we are, right here. So we're going to do a skin, this bluish color here, the first, first one. So pull it down and drop it in there. Now, let me take that off and I'm going to show you something. So we have a uh, 
fill threshold. So what we want to do is we want to try to drag. Don't let your pencil up. Just keep it on the glass there and slide it over until we get a pretty high percentage. That way it's not going to leave any tiny small white gaps in there um, that you have to go back and fix later on. And normally what I like to do is keep on dragging it over there until it fills everything up and then drag it back just a little bit, and then you know that it's all completely filled in. Okay, let's do his ear, because that's going to be blue too. Okay, and then we got some chin here, and his neck. So I think, yeah, that's all of the skin color right there. Okay, what can we do now? Let's go... Uh, I guess this pink color next one is going to be the brains. I'll drag that. Drop that in there. And then the parts that are not colored in or have been closed off, so we want to make sure we get those filled in. And that one right there. So you got the brains colored in there. And I think... Yeah, I'm going to use the same color as the brains for his gums. Not his tongue. Just his gums. Okay, that looks good. Um, what's our next color here? Our next color is the kind of off-white. It's kind of a pinkish white. I'm going to do that for his eyes. So drop those in. Okay. His teeth are going to be white. But let's look at our next... What's our next color? The red here. The red is for his eyeballs. Okay. Our next color is... This brown color. That's going to be his necktie. Okay. Our next color is this grayish. That's going to be his clothes. Okay, very good. I'm liking it. Okay, next is black. And I think I just gave you black. Oh, well, we can do the inside of his mouth. So above the tongue... Below the teeth. There we go. The next color is white. White is going to be his shirt color. Now, we're not going to be able to see the white filled in because our background color is white. So what you want to do is click on background color and let's change it to anything else then you're able to see when you color white in. So there you go, you can see it now. To get all of his teeth filled in. Okay. Now, if you want, you can change that background color back to white again. Because we know we got our teeth colored in. Next color is going to be this pinkish red color. That's going to be his tongue. Okay. Oh, I forgot. Another white. Change the background color again. I forgot his shirt. His shirt's going to be white also, which is that. Oh, no, I got something open. Do I? When do I got open? Maybe the threshold. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Mm. 
and this little part here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, next color we got is this light gray. That's going to be his lapel here. Okay, and let's go ahead and change our background back to white again. Take it all the way up to the top there. And we have got all of our color flats done for our zombie. So the next phase we're going to do is start on the shading. Okay, so I didn't give you any separate colors for shading. And because I want you guys to start learning on how to do this stuff yourself. So what we're going to do for the shading today is we're going to take the base color that we're shading and we're just going to darken it up a little bit. So you want you, when you go to your colors here, you want to be on classic over here. So we're not going to use any of our palette colors anymore. So what you're going to do is you're going to, so if we want to shade the face first, put your finger on there, it's going to make a color picker here and then just lift up on it. It's going to change your color up there to the color that you just touched. Now what we're going to do is click on the color here and the bottom slider here is light to dark. So we're just going to darken that up a little bit. And that's going to be our dark color for shading. So I said the light was coming in from up here. Okay, so we're going to do our... It's going to probably start being hidden about right here. So I'm going to bring it down that side. And we're going to make our brush bigger here. So that's probably going to come down to about right, maybe here. Or then down around there. So do this again. Okay. You know what I didn't do? Let's do this, go back again. We want a new layer on top of that. We don't want our shading on the color flats. What you can also do is you can set this layer to clipping mask, and that way it will only draw on our coloring, and we can't go out here. You can see there's nothing. So let's do that. Let's start right here. I'm going to fix that point up there. And maybe down to about right there. So all this side of the face is going to be filled in. Okay, let me get this point. Make my brush size a little smaller. So I can get that nice point right there. Okay, and let me try to think about where the shadows are going to fall. Put my brush back up some. So probably under the eye here. So I'm going to go to about right here. And then maybe you continue that down like that. So you want to follow the curves. And then maybe this is going to come to about right there on top of his eye. So we're going to go ahead and fill all that in too. Oops, we don't want an eye right there. So let me go around that. I wonder if I can feel I think I can fill it in now. Now nah, the reference is still on. If you turn the reference off, it'll probably work. Make sure we're on the right layer. Let's see now. No, it didn't. Oh, yes, it did. I just had to take the threshold down some. And see here, these little dots get left here. You want to make sure you clean those up. Okay, yeah, I like that. Uh, then probably going to come under the eye a little bit here. So I'm going to 
Keep that curve going down the face. I think that's good. Okay, down here on the neck, that's all going to be in shadow. So we're going to fill all that in. Looks good. Okay, this fold here under the lip. That's going to be in shadow. Maybe like that. Okay, under this eye. Probably going to have a shadow there. Same thing with under this one. Okay, maybe the little bit eyelid that's coming up right there. Eyebrows, possibly. We'll do a shadow under both of those. Okay, maybe this fold here. Has a shadow under it right there. And maybe the bottom of the earlobe here. We'll do a shadow there. And I think that's about it. I mean, you can... As I've said before in the past, you'll, you're going to do a lot more shadows than you are going to do the highlights. So, there's that. So, But for the face, basically... Actually, these brains right here, we can... Go ahead and put a shadow under those brains like that. And that right there is good too. Okay. That's good. All right. So now we're going to do the shadows on the brains here. So click on the brains. Choose that pinkish color. Click on our color up there. We're going to bring it down a little bit so it's darker. And then where these folds are. We're going to put shadows under them. And put the pin size down a little bit. And just like that. Maybe one here. Maybe one here. Possibly all of that one. Under this one, under that one, and that little bit right there. I think that's good. Let me thicken this one up a little bit. Yeah, I like it. <clears throat> okay, now we're going to do some highlights. So again, click on your pink, your base pink there, then we're going to lighten it up some. Now, sometimes you're very far over here and you can't get it much lighter. So what you're going to do is you're going to slide it to the left here, which is going to make it a little bit lighter. And then the light's going to be directly on the top of these brains here. So we want to get some lightness and I think even more than that, actually. So thick to thin around the tops of those. Maybe a top of this one. Yeah, I think that's about it. So again, on the highlights, it's going to be a lot less than you do on your shadows. So uh, let's do the blue here. And again, we're going to have to slide it up here. To make it lighter. So the light's going to be on the top of the here. Here I'm sure. Uh, maybe right there. We can do maybe a big circle here. Maybe some dots. Okay. Top of the eyebrows. We might have a highlight on there. Okay, maybe around the top of the eye. Looks good, maybe on the cheek right here. Okay, top of the lip. Possibly. Yeah, okay, that's good enough. All right, so we're going to do the eyeballs. So click on the eyeball color. 
and we're going to do a darker color of it so slide it down a little bit which is starting going to be a little bit purplish I'm going to put it right on the bottom like that, thick to thin. Okay, and then if you want, what you could do is make it kind of big like that, and then you can go a little bit darker, and you can do another one right here. It kind of gives it a three, I mean, the more you do, the better it's going to look but th that you know we got the cartoon style here but you can see that kind of makes it like a little gradient there which is it looks kind of nice i'm going to do the same thing over here and then that next color okay that's good uh let's go to completely white and let's do the Highlights in his eyes, so just a couple of dots. Okay. Okay, what else can we do? We can put some shadow on the gums here, so... Let's go a little bit darker on those. And just right here at the bottom. Okay, and then the top here too. Okay, the tongue, maybe a little shadow on it, go a little bit darker. I don't know. Maybe that, that's fine. You can do as much as you want. Okay, let's get the shadows on the jacket here, go a little bit darker. And of course down here. That's going to be in the shade and maybe under cheek here, under this lapel. Okay, and then over here too. This is all kind of already in shadow, but we can make it even darker shadow. So kind of like that. Then here. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, tie. So on his shirt here, make that a little bit darker on the white under the tie maybe right there we can just go it's a little bit left so we just fill in all of that and then over here right there maybe under the chin here no we don't want that color So maybe right there, and then the brown, let's go a little bit darker on it. There, and right there. Okay, I'm going to do the face on the lapel here. So about right there, we missed some right here. Okay, and I think that's going to do it. Let me go ahead and erase this arrow I put here. And maybe change the background color to something else. Maybe that color right there. And there we are, guys. We are finished. Let's turn off our drawing guide. And there is our finished product. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Click the little bell icon so you'll 
be notified when I upload new videos. Thanks for all the support. We're getting a lot of new subscriptions. It's really growing quickly, and I'm so happy and thankful to all of you. Remember, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and toss a couple of dollars my way when you download the free brushes and the color palettes and stuff like that, which allows me to continue bringing these tutorials to you all for free. Thank you so much, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.